uncover the hidden world of political campaigns in just five minutes. Join me, your host, David Washington, on Countertop Politics every Monday for exclusive campaign insights, tantalizing innuendo, and the secret sauce behind successful political campaigns. Don't miss out. Let's go. Hey community, it's your favorite political innovator, David Washington here. It is, of course, Monday, and that means five minutes or thereof of political insight, campaign innuendo, and of course, the secret sauce to winning strategies. And I got a special one for you because this is the secret sauce right here. This is something that I've always started my conversations with my potential clients and always in right about this time, just before election day. We're about a week away from the election. And I really enjoyed this time of the cycle because this is where all the strategies really start to come together. And I look at the fruit of our labors and see that all the resources, all the labor, and all the time spent has come to fruition. And so I'm, I really look forward to this part of this this time of the cycle, that last week in the campaign cycle, because it, it, if you have your strategy in place, this is where you see results. And why do I say that? Well, I have a friend, an old friend, an old head, an old political. I will call him the colonel. And when I came here to Florida and I started working in politics, he pulled me aside on the campaign that we were both working on, my very first one here. And those of you who know me know which campaign I'm talking about. Um, He pulled me aside and he's like, David, this is a way to know how your campaign is going and the likelihood of winning on Election Day. I was like, get out of here. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen to me. There's always data. There's going to be data for elections from from now to the end of the world and from the beginning of campaigns and data collection. It's like, yes. He's like, well, if you look at the data from previous elections similar to the election that you're in now, and at that time we were looking at a county commission district seat in Orange County. He's like, look at the election before. And if turnout meets or exceeds X amount and that turnout resulted in a vote for one party or the other, for example, the Democrat, then it is likely that your candidate will win that particular election. I was like, wait, 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 wait. Are you saying if I follow a specific precinct within the district that my candidate is running in, if I look at the historical quantitative data from previous election or elections, and I find that one precinct that pretty much followed the turnout and the election results for the winning candidate overall for the district, then I can, with pretty good certainty, 90% certainty that my candidate's going to win. It's like, you're darn right, David. And guess what? The Saturday before the election day, For that particular candidate in 2016, I followed his advice. And you know something? I found the precinct, which I'm looking at right now. And that precinct trended the same way that the winning candidate 
had in the previous election. We were following the same numbers. We were trending the same numbers as that winning candidate in the previous election for that seat. It worked. The data don't lie. So on that note, <laughs> it sounds a little complicated, but it makes sense. And that Saturday before Election Day 2016, I said to my candidate and her husband, you won. Go ahead and sign wave. I just finished my project management course. I'm going home. I'm tired. I'll see you on Election Day. Congratulations. And the rest is history. So... On that note, everyone, I want to thank everyone for following me, for tuning in, for your comments, uh, for watching, sharing, liking this content. Uh, if there was ever the secret sauce for this, campaigning for politics, this would be it. This is definitely the secret sauce that I live and die by among all the other things that I've shared with you. But this this content will keep coming. But more importantly, I want to thank everyone. Please continue watching and listening. Like and comment and please subscribe. You know how to reach us. I'm David Washington. This is Countertop Politics. I almost said something else because we got so many things going on. This is Countertop Politics with yours truly. Please tune in to from the margins with Jimmy Afon and myself. Some really good insight. We got more shows coming up to talk about democratic politics here in Central Florida. We've got the David Washington Show. I've got some stuff to share with you all. And so it's my political commentary, you know, my opinion. And uh, of course, I'm doing a lot of research to back up what I'm saying. Uh, but please tune in today, uh, share all that and uh, please comment I love your comments uh, of course uh, we have uh, you know count top politics but we do have our flagship podcast you can't make this shit up and you won't believe how many episodes that we've recorded in our in post-production that we need to get out to you all so I'm hoping the week um, between uh, now and the lecture day, you're going to get a lot of uh, interviews, a lot of conversation, uh, some subject matter uh, conversations. So hopefully you'll tune in for that. Okay. It's about eight minutes now. I'm out of here. Thank you. God bless. We'll see you the next time. I can only end this the right way. I need a producer, right? We'll see you next time, y'all.